Imagine you have two quantities. Today, we're going to look at what the fraction would be of one quantity to another. To write 3 as a fraction of 18, we can draw 18 squares. Three of these squares will be shaded. The fraction will be 3 over 18. We can split the 18 up into three groups of six squares. Each group has one square shaded. 3 over 18 will therefore be the same as 1 over 6. This is called simplifying. Let's go through these questions. Writing 1 as a fraction of 11 is as simple as putting 1 over 11. To write 4 as a fraction of 24, we can put 4 over 24, but we can divide top and bottom of that fraction by 4. The numerator, the 4, divided by 4 will be 1. The 24 divided by 4 will be 6. So 4 over 24 is the same as 1 sixth. To write 1.3 as a fraction of 26, we can just put 1.3 over 26. But you shouldn't have a decimal inside a fraction, so we need to multiply the top and the bottom by a power of 10, such as 10, 100, 1000, to make the numerator and the denominator integers, basically to get rid of the decimal. Let's multiply top and bottom by 10. 1.3 times 10 will be 13, 26 times 10 will be 260. Brilliant, we've got rid of the decimal. But I can then divide top and bottom by 13, and it will simplify it to 1 over 20. Let's finish with this. I have red and blue balls. There are twice as many red balls than blue balls. Find the fraction of blue balls. If you know, write it in the comments below. And you can also come to onmaths.com or click the link in the description where you can access all our GCSE papers and predictions for free and you can even save your scores with a free account. This video is part of a larger GCSE course that you can follow along with at onmaths.com.